Over 16,000 reviews. Over 16,000 reviews. Almost, it may be 17,000. Maybe it's over 17,000 when you watch this because it's 16,981 when I'm filming this. Four and a half stars. How do you how do you get that kind of rating? Well, I would think you have to be fairly good. So you may be wondering why why so many sunglass reviews in the last week? Well, it's because uh, I'm I'm away at Atlanticade for this well this weekend or weekend past or I'm not 100% sure when I'm posting these videos. Um, but because of that, I wanted to make sure I got these reviews out and uh, I wanted to take these sunglasses with me so I wanted to make sure that uh, I got a chance to film this stuff for you. Um, but I bought a whole bunch of sunglasses during Amazon Prime Day which saved me a couple dollars, not a lot, but a couple bucks. And uh, any little bit of savings, my camera's on? Yeah, any little bit of savings uh, is always beneficial and even if there's no savings, it's $29, right? So let's take a look at the glasses I got here, the Fagumas. Fag, f, f, faguma, fagu, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so here's what's cool. First off, uh, they're they're they are a nice looking sunglass for sure. Sunglasses, sunglass. Um, you can get them in all kinds of different options depending on what you're what you're looking for. You know, uh, oh, I like those too actually. And you get them in like double pairs, depending. Now, I could have bought them in double pairs. You know, double pairs here. Yeah. Which just, here, here's something that just, you know, doesn't make sense. So, I buy a double pair, $66. I buy a single pair, $29. So, why wouldn't I just buy two single pairs? That would actually save me money. Somebody, somebody that owns this store can't figure out math, I guess. Um, anyways... Fantastic, fantastic reviews, Fagumas, Fagumas, right? So stainless steel logo, not the glasses, but the logo, I guess that's good. High quality stainless steel logo. All right, soft silicone nose pads, I like that. Uh, skid proof design, I like that. Polarized uh, is what I'm, see what I'm seeing here. HD vision, anti-glare, true colors, UV 400, good, good, good. Easy to clean, strong impact which I also liked, right, um, because they should have some, especially if you're, for me, I'll be using these primarily, um, and you guys may have seen I did a, a clear pair of sunglasses just yesterday or the day before, and those are going to be used when the weather's really crappy, like like raining and stuff like that, and you get caught in it, or if I'm riding at night, uh, I'll put those on. But uh, I wanted something for during the day because I like usually if I'm wearing a half helmet, I want sunglasses, of course. If I'm wearing a full face, I will almost always ride with the visor up. So having something that had impact is, is useful, right? So strong impact. I'm not going to test that. I'm not going to shoot a gun at it or anything like that. Um, but um, this one, cheaply made, has some defects. Really? Well, maybe I should have read these ahead of time. Not worth the money. Um find the silver part on the arm fell off on a camping trip probably due to a missing screw now the nose piece fell off lens warped right out of the box kind of small and don't feel great not worth buying all right um, these were all done about six months ago or longer actually so we'll see newer ones though 2022 great value okay nice fitting so very comfortable. I just, you know what? I almost think too. There are there are some people. There are some hundred percent that you know what they're they they've they've bought gas station sunglasses for their whole life. So they spent seven dollars on a pair of sunglasses, and you know when they spend thirty dollars on sunglasses, that's expensive. Whereas like I just had a pair of Oakleys that broke. You saw that hopefully in my one of my last videos. Um, Two hundred and fifty dollars broke. $29. This to me is like ridiculously cheap, right? So anyways, let's let's crack them open. Take a look. Number one, and this is always a big thing. You get this sweet case. I actually really like the design of the case. Uh, you get this kind of honeycomb look, which is really nice. Um, is that important? No, but uh, hey, what? Hey, what? Looks, looks are, you might as well have them, right? You might as well have them. Little strap there, which is kind of cool. 
What I would like to see with some of them that didn't come with my last one either. I've had some glasses that come with like a little carabiner so that you can latch it onto this and then latch it onto your backpack or whatever it is. I kind of like that. But you get a case, so that's that's a win. And inside this case, you get uh, sunglasses, <clears throat> you get a little bag of goodies, and in that bag of goodies, you get, you get, first off, you get a polarizer testing card. You guys see that, right? Faguma, Faguma, F Faguma, I don't know. Anyways, you can take this to verify that they are polarized because you'll see something on that little thing that you normally wouldn't. You get a, oh, does this come, that's nice, actually. That's cool. It comes with a little little neck strap. Oh, that's nice. I didn't even see that. I didn't know I was getting that. Right? These are going to go on the arms. And then this goes around your neck. Okay. That's cool. I like that. No idea. Little little extra bonus. You get a cleaning cloth. Does it have their name on it? Or is it just, just, just empty? Nice. And you get this. That does have their name on it. Little Faguma. I'm saying Faguma. I might be wrong. Right? And, and then that's, up. that's it. And then last but not least, we get the sunglasses in a bag. And you may have seen, I am a fan of the blue lenses. I like blue lenses. Why? I don't know. This is what I like. So this coming off, this coming off, you gotta open that, there we go. And this coming off somehow. Again, close the arm a little bit so that comes off. Okay. And this it says here, did it not say here? Did it not say that there is this weird, what does it say? Metal, metal faguma. Oh, I guess that's just on the outside. So that's this. So this piece, this, this piece right here, where am I? This piece right here, metal is what they say. That is stainless steel logo. Why would you, I don't understand. Why would you would be like, look, cool. All right, but you get this texture. It is a texture on the arm for sure. You get a, there's texture also on this rubber piece here, you know, and uh, that's got a, got a rubber on it. So that should help with the sticking, sticking here. Um, nose pieces aren't movable, but they are rubber. So they do, they do bend. So they are flexible. So that's kind of nice. Um, I don't, I don't see these falling apart. And so someone said they were really small. Now I don't have, this always sounds weird. I don't have a little head, right? I'm a bigger guy. So my head's the right size, I think for, for being my size. They fit fine. I don't, if anything, I would think for someone with a smaller head that these might be a little big, but those, those are okay. Those are okay. Right. And what I like about these two, and again, this is the reason I kind of wanted the style, I think, for like motorcycle riding. Again, they're not going to have the wind seal that you would have on a pair of motorcycle glasses that usually has foam that kind of comes in and around here that kind of seals around your face so you stop that wind. It doesn't have that, right? So if you're, you're looking for that, go, go get yourself a pair of bobbers or motorcycle glasses. Now, I've had poor experience with the cheap motorcycle glasses. You know, you pay... You pay 30 bucks and you get three different pairs, like a yellow, a tinted, and a, and a, and a clear, yellow tinted clear. Yeah. Um, my last pair of those went right back because I broke them the first time I went to use them. I would, I literally went to put this on. I had my helmet on and I put my glasses on like this inside my helmet and, um, they broke the arm broke like literally right in, right in half in here, not at the hinge, right, right here. No. So are these going to break? I don't know. Well, well I'll, I'll let you know if they do. Uh, I'll leave an updated comment down below when I'm like, if they break, I'll be like, yeah, they broke. Do an, do an X, right? So you guys get an idea. Um, right now though, clarity seems decent. Clarity seems decent. Uh, I'm going to take them for a quick ride right now. And, uh, I'll let you know what it's like for wind protection, like how it feels and, uh, what I think of them while I'm riding. All right, let's go for a, a quick rip, shall we? All right, so we're out for a ride. We're out for a ride. We got the new glasses on, new glasses. Um, and uh, a couple things that I am appreciative of. Number one is my helmet, my helmet here. 
uh, fairly, it's a fairly snug helmet, right? Because I like my helmets to be snug. Biker, bike, cyclist, whatever, right? It's uh, snug. And uh, the arms on these glasses, the actual arms on the glasses, are nice and thin. So now I've had some glasses, and this has included uh, some like even motorcycle glasses that I wear them, but normally just normal sunglasses. I wear them and they end up really getting sore, like inside, like between your ear and your eyes kind of a section that, because they're really thick, like the sunglasses arms. And because of that, there's just a lot of pressure in that area. The arms on these are really thin, so that's actually really nice. So I don't even, I don't even feel them right now. So that's good. And I've been out riding right now for probably about 20 minutes before I actually started recording this. Um, Clarity-wise, are the sunglasses, you know, they're good. Yeah, they're really good. Uh, and because they sit really close to your face, uh, you don't really notice the actual frames of the sunglasses, which is kind of nice, because I do find with, like, my old sunglasses, which are kind of that Ray-Ban, Oakley-style look that I kind of wear. Um, the frames are something that I continuously notice. It's just, it just, it is what it is, right? Now, you know, are you going to get the wind protection with a set of glasses like these versus uh, an actual pair of wind or an actual pair of motorcycle sunglasses that have like the uh, foam around them? No, for sure. Like I could definitely already, like I could feel wind coming in. Right now, I'm doing about 80 kilometers. Uh, so you definitely get some more wind coming in than you probably normally would. <clears throat> but these are definitely going to be better than, like I said, than my, my old glasses. Because they wrap around your, your face a little bit nicer, just gives them, they're just a little closer, and a, a tighter seal, I guess, around you know, like your face and your eyes. So there's just less chance of that wind getting in there, right? Because they are really nice and snug. Now I think, you know, as far as this style of glasses, again, for that, you know, $30 Canadian, um, I think you're getting a really, really nice uh, pair of sunglasses. I, I think so. Um, so that's, that's okay. And uh, they look good, they're clear, uh, they're light. Uh, supposedly, and uh, I, again, I'm not testing this, they do have some kind of impact resistance. They're not, they're not uh, any kind of impact certification number that I could find that you'll see on some. So, you know, if you're picking up a pair of sunglasses or glasses and you're like, oh, I want to be able to ride with them in case I get a rock chip smoke me in the face, well, then maybe you want to uh, possibly get actual motorcycle glasses or something that has that kind of impact rating on them. That would probably be my recommendation. For me, I, I primarily use uh, sunglasses, just normal sunglasses, that don't have any kind of, they don't even talk about the impact stuff, right? So because of that, this, this is a step up for sure. And I like the fact that I can wear these, let's say, for example, when you're watching this, I'm either on my way home from Americade, not Americade, Atlanticade, or I'm at Atlanticade right now, when you're watching this video, possibly, if you're watching it when it comes out. And uh, I don't have to bring a pair of, you know, motorcycle sunglasses and a pair of glasses for wandering about. I can just bring these because they look just as good by themselves with just not riding a motorcycle as they do with, with a motorcycle. So I kind of like that. Um, and for a lot of people, we don't, you know, we're not going to have a bunch of storage. Now for me on my bike, i got a ton of storage. So I could bring like a thousand pairs of sunglasses if I wanted. But... Uh, I, I, I'm so far, so far I like these. Yeah, they're good. So I'm going to uh, leave you there. I don't have a lot to say about them. Here's here's what I think is the positives. Positive number one, light. Positive number two, the arms. The arms are nice and thin. They seem like they should be fairly strong, and because of that, um, they can go in under like your your helmet, especially if you wear a three quarter or a modular or a full face and you don't get any pressure in and around the ears, which I which I really like. Um, they do have, or they talk about, some impact resistance, which is good. Um, and uh, they, they are, in my opinion, uh, stylish. And because of the, just the, 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 the way that they're shaped, 
they they hug your face a little nicer which does mean that i think you're going to get less wind coming in and around your eyes so that that's also a perk now the only uh for me the only two downfalls and i don't want to even call, it, call them downfalls i'll say just you know the only two slight negatives if you're really looking at motorcycle glasses and comparing these with motorcycle glasses is kind of those two things we talk about number one is that it doesn't have any of that foam in them so you don't get a complete seal around your eyes so if you are someone that you know drives at 80 or 100 or faster kilometers and you do get your eyes your eyes water all the time and you know what any kind of wind that hits your eyes you're, you're like oh no that's no good then i would look at sunglasses that have that foam because you're going to get that extra that extra level of wind protection that kind of creeps in and around the glasses so that would be number one and two is of course that there is no actual uh, impact rating on these so they talk about them being like impact resistant but how much i don't know like if a bug hits them well, they should be fine if, if a rock hits them at 100 kilometers an hour is it are they going to go through i don't i don't know i don't know i i, I you know at that point i would definitely go with a motorcycle glasses that or a pair of motorcycle glasses that has that you know impact or resistance rating on them so um other than that i'm going to leave you guys there i'm going to continue my ride i'm heading back home uh and uh, it's a beautiful day out beautiful day as you can see i'm wearing, wearing my new my new jacket yes i am hopefully you guys had a chance to watch the video on that because it's nice and uh that's it links to the glasses below if you guys are interested in these uh, and if you're just interested in these just for day-to-day -day sunglasses you know what i think i think they're they're all right especially for the price and uh that's it like comment share subscribe hit that little notification bell and i'm i'm out later my friends we will see you guys uh next video probably tomorrow later